Okay. We sort of try and think our way into the process of what, what would it be like if suddenly, explosively, you turned into somebody else. You imagine it would be sort of traumatic, it would also be. All those things are, are, I think, tricky. But, you know, we use, I suppose, things that feel right and seem right to try and sell what is a fantastically clever way of substituting your lead actor. must be sort of interesting to be reborn that way into a different body and feel the same but look different. Yes, eyes too narrow and eyes have lots too. He was checking the shoes like, okay, he's got all of his body parts. Okay, good, good. Uh, and still not ginger. Is he ginger? Nope, still not ginger. I'm a girl. No. No. I'm a girl. He thinks he's a girl because he has long hair, but it's just awesome, crazy Matt Smith hair. Watching Doctor Who regenerate from cells, you say to yourself, ha, impossible. But actually, we do it in the laboratory already. We're starting to understand there are certain types of cells in the body, called stem cells, which can grow and evolve into different kinds of cells. Today, you're in a car accident, you get a new door, you get a new fender, you just call the body shop. We will have a human body shop. One day in the not too distant future, we, we will be able to grow whole organs, hearts, lungs, kidneys. So you can extrapolate that thought and say, well, one day we might be able to grow artificially a whole human. Is regeneration possible? I'd put it at a 4.5. I'm fairly optimistic with regeneration. The fact that we're understanding the genome now, I think gives us a lot more possibilities. So I put it as a, a fairly optimistic three. Given enough advances in technology, I don't see any reason why that couldn't be possible. So I'd give that a four or a five. It's so important.